If you're planning to study in Canada or you are already studying in Canada, listen up. Today I'm sharing 10 resources that you can and should use as a student in Canada for free. First things first, the holy grail, the one and only, the mother, IRCC, Immigration Canada. If you have any questions about study permits, about your documents, about news, updates, anything about immigration, you should be going to IRCC. If you need to contact immigration, IRCC. You will find all the web forms, all the contact information, everything you need to know about your documents and much more. On IRCC website you can learn about PR pathways, you can follow the latest news, you can learn about different aspects of Canada because IRCC is part of Canada.ca. You can even find information about financial aid in case you need some. Don't trust those random websites that you find online. If you have an immigration question, IRCC, Immigration Canada. Chances are the question will be there. Also, if you're Googling, you can ask your question and then say IRCC or Canada.ca. And the first resource I'm pretty sure will be the answer to your question on the IRCC website. The next resource is for those of you who are interested in top universities. If you care about your university or college ranking, you need to be using Times Higher Education. So what they do, they basically rank all the universities in the world and every year they will publish this rating. So in case you want to be in top 10 universities, you can look at that list and then pick and choose where you want to study. The universities are based on teaching, research, citations, industry income and international diversity. I'll leave all the links in the description box so you can easily access them after you finish this video. The next one is Education Canada. It is also an official resource of Government of Canada and it is made specifically for international students who are looking to study in Canada. You can check programs, you can get estimates, check scholarships, plan your studies in Canada. There is a lot of helpful information if you ask me. Education Canada has also a very nice blog where you can read student success stories, where you can find some tips and tricks, so pretty much like this channel, but like in a written form. And of course, latest news and update. The next important resource that you should be using as a student in Canada is your colleges or universities website. Once you have decided on a specific college or university, you've applied, you gained admission, start exploring the website because all the information you need, scholarship, financial aid, curriculum, everything is on that website. Again, if you have any questions, chances are you will find all the answers there. You can find different organizations you can join, clubs, events, pretty much anything. And if you don't find answers to your questions, you will also find some contact information, maybe a link to an international center where you can go and talk to a human being. And if you're planning to stay in Canada after your studies to work or maybe to settle down, make sure to check your province's website. There you can learn more about the province itself, about PR pathways, about benefits, healthcare, job opportunities, and much more. Some provinces offer unique things. For example, I know that Alberta used to do that, Manitoba used to do that, because all the international students, they go to Ontario, to British Columbia, but nobody goes up north. So they used to have some special benefits for students. And if you're planning to move to Quebec, Quebec has a list of courses that you can take if you want to live in Quebec. They're offered by the government. They are free, but you need to be eligible to take those courses for free. If you're planning to study abroad, one of the most important things is to manage your finances. And the best app for that, if you're planning to study in Canada, is Credit Karma. I was about to say Mint, but I've recently learned that they merge in everything into one app, which is Credit Karma. And that's amazing, because Mint used to manage your finances, while Credit Karma was for like credit score. Now it's one app where you can manage your finances, check your credit score, track all your financial records, like everything is in one place. There you can find all the credit cards and loan recommendations. You can even open bank accounts. And again, keep track of your credit score because if you want to stay in Canada, that is really important. And by the way, I have a video about credit score in Canada. If you're not familiar with that, please watch it after you finish this video. And if you're planning to write anything, Grammarly is your bestie. Grammarly can help you with proofreading your texts, correcting your mistakes. They've recently launched generative AI that can help you with rewriting text using your tone of voice. It can also suggest ideas for writing, so if you need some extra help for your assignment, make sure to install Grammarly. With a free plan, you get 100 prompts per month, which I think is enough for your college writings, but you can always upgrade to premium, but I mean, 
I've used Grammarly for the past, I don't even know how many years. I've never needed premium, maybe like a few times. And the next free resource that I have for you is my love, my favorite app in the whole world, and it is Notion. I use it for pretty much everything, for my personal life, for my work, for everything. You can use it to track your college applications, to organize your study notes. You can use it for anything. You can choose from a variety of different templates. They update them regularly, so you don't have to build everything from scratch. You can literally pick a template and then fill it in. They have also launched AI, so you can use it for improving your writing, for fixing mistakes, for making your tech... Jesus Christ, this technology. You can make your text shorter, you can make your text longer. Notion, if you ever see this, I love you. I love you guys. I've been using Notion for the past, I don't even know, six, seven years since they launched in 2016, so it's uh, eight years. And speaking of AI and writing things, another cool resource that you can use is Perplexity AI. If you need to do research for your homework, Perplexity is here to help. While ChatGPT can be really helpful, what I love about Perplexity is that it gives you a list of resources where the information was taken from. So if you need an answer to your question, you can ask AI and it will give you all the resources. For example, if you ask, does process meat cause cancer? It will give you links to WHO, World Health Organization, Harvard University, University and even Cancer Council website. But please don't copy everything you get from AI because plagiarism is still a thing. Colleges and universities are still checking for that. So when you take text or information from those resources, make sure to rewrite them, make sure to work with them, not just blindly like copy and paste because you will get an F, my friend. And also in Canada, in colleges and universities, they're super strict about plagiarism, so don't do that, don't do that. Just use that as an inspo, as a start for your work, you know what I'm saying? And the last but not least, don't forget to install some kind of Google Translate dictionary app, because if you move into a new country, for example, to Canada, and your English is not super good, you can always use dictionary to search for things, to look for things, Google Translate as well. I think Google Translate is really good now. It accurately translates things, but also I would recommend apps like Deeple. I would recommend apps like Apple Translate. I don't know what's it called. I think just Translate. Yeah, it's literally called Translate. So any Translate app that you can install on your phone will be really helpful for you. And I think this is it. I hope these apps and websites and resources will help you in your studies, in your new life in Canada. As always, I wish you all the best and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.